Before we share this testimony, we just want to welcome you to the Hemp Revival. Scribbles and I just wanted to thank all of Georgia and USA hemp farmers, many present at this meeting, for planting these seeds that are truly reviving our relationship, our connection to the cannabis plant, and thereby reviving so much of our lives. This is an incredible plant that not only revives our soil, our air, filtering the air with the trichomes, it filters the water, it phytoremediates, which means pulling toxins out of the land, and of course, it also revives our bodies, minds, and spiritual connection to our heart, so we can express our hearts with each other even better. So with no further ado, I present March 16th, a little snippet, and you can watch the whole live stream linked below and hopefully I'll get an edited version up of that soon as well. Don't you want a car that runs on cannabis? Kind of thinking we might need to have a little, maybe lighten us up just a bit. Aviva, oh. the puppet woman, can you do your show from the podium? Uh, Doc, you don't have to pass those around. I'll, I'll put them Oops. in folders if we need to. So I brought a handout. I'll show you what that is later in the video. I didn't realize they didn't pass them around because I thought he was telling me I didn't have to pass it around because someone else would. And my nerves just have their own ears, right? I did run it by his assistant, Cindy West, before the meeting in room 432. You know how I love the number 432. But it's the discretion of the chairman whether or not they are given out. So if I knew he said not to pass them out, I might have been able to make a quick point to support how it would be helpful, perhaps. But anyway, let's see what happens. Go ahead and uh, tell us your thoughts in an entertaining way, please, ma'am. Thank you You're so right much. in between the for and against on how you signed up, so I, that's why I'm picking you to sort of uh, see what you got. Thank you so much for having us. We have a gig in Alabama on Tuesday, so we're so happy to be able to speak who, with all of you today. Who, tell us who we is. Oh, me and my ukulele. Oh. Uh, Scribbles is probably not going to make that one. Why not? Well, we'll talk about it later. Okay. Uh, so my name is Aviva Vuvuzela. I'm the founder of the Georgia Hemp Economic Revival Organization that's been around for 10 plus years, educating as many people as we can about what uh, some of what our previous amazing speakers said. Um, and we also send emails inviting as many people as we can to hearings like this with all of you amazing legislators. So get to the point, Mom. Okay, okay. So my point today is that... Wait, let me just talk. Okay. I think that you all don't know the difference between hemp seeds and CBD. Scribbles. Well, what I'm trying to say is, is hemp food is grass. I think it's pronounced grass. <laughs> Generally recognized as safe. And in 2018, you know, there was a really big federal push for Americans to grow hemp food. Why is that? Well, we get it all from Canada and maybe a little bit of China. That's $700 million a year of imports. Wow, that's, that's a lot. So how much do you think Georgia spends on that? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it would help the Georgia economy if we grew some hemp food here. That's a really good point. And I think these legislators are just scared that it's the same thing as cannabinoid extractions. You might be right. Has anyone here tried hemp seeds or hemp food? Do you think it'll make you high? Because it doesn't. Do you guys eat bagels? Yes. Do you ever have poppy seed bagels? Yes. Well, those are from the opium plant, but you don't have a problem with that. Why wouldn't you have a hemp seed bagel? That's a really good point. Plus, my favorite food is broccoli. That has a dietary cannabinoid, uh, beta caryophyllin. Wow, that was impressive, Scribbles. Um, that's true. And the processing fee for broccoli is not $5,000 in this state. That's a really good point. So, uh, so do you think the processing fee is limiting farmers from growing hemp for food? Because I think food is about 100 to $300 to license here. So we think it would be a really good idea to just categorize a different license for hemp food because malnutrition is very unsafe and hemp food has so much nutrition in it. And we think don't that forget to tell them oranges are being processed for CBD, too. And also, breast milk has endocannabinoid scribbles. Let's keep this. Uh, well, it is true. We have an endocannabinoid system. And there are two cannabinoids that 
we make when we're nursing babies, and they actually help babies to be stimulated to actually suck the breast. And without those cannabinoids that we make, then that wouldn't happen. And I might have to overdub some of your thoughts with that. Okay, it's overdub time. Getting to your positions. Uh. <laughs> well, I'm looking in the handout, and I don't see anything about boobies. Huh. Who's going to Google you it? You mean Google? I guess now we know why those are so addictive. <laughs> right? I just got that neural transmission, too. Boring. Wait, what does this say? Okay, add another superpower to the list. Oops. Well, we can't ban them, but we can control them. So if we extract all the cannabinoids from best milk, we don't have to legalize weed. I feel very uncomfortable right now. Very uncomfortable. And then we can administer it in a typical bottle. I think it'd be wise if I stay out of this conversation. It's making me kind of sad. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm gonna cry. I'm here for you, man. I'll get through. Oh, it. come on, cheer up! <laughs> ah, we're talking about. Oops, <laughs> I'm crying. <gasps> Is that the magic of raw milk? Great. My committee's turned into a bunch of babies. I need my mommy. I need my mommy Me too. Choo choo, choo choo train. All this booby talk is giving me the munchies. Mm. But anyway, I think that everyone knows what we're talking about now. And, but we have a handout, and that has education. And we think they're not to insult anyone, but Georgia has been a little backwards. So we think, why not take a step back and just create Cannabis Education Day and just educate people about everything? Because that'll help us legislate. So if you are looking at the handout, you see our proposed Cannabis Education Day, whereas George Washington did not chop down a cherry tree, it was cherry cannabis, whereas uh, Food is nutritious. It has magnesium, manganese, potassium, omegas, reduces cholesterol, all kinds of things on that fact sheet. We feel like we would like other people to talk, so we will bring this to a close. We thank you so much for letting us talk so long. We know that was more than two minutes, and that was amazing. And if you have any questions. Well, I think the rules chairman, uh, Senator Brass has a question for you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. If you'll allow, I've got a question for Mr. Scribbles. That would be just fine. <laughs> Mr. Scribbles, I've never had that attention before. Well, I'm just curious, Mr. Scribbles. Are you a unicorn? I'm just, is that a horn? What's going on there? Are you a unicorn? No, is that the thing on the middle of the head? What is that? I get a lot of knowledge. It's not like cannabis that DNA turns to the left or anything. It's just a little bit it needs sewing. But it connects me to my planet. It's my antenna. And I and it's a you know, children do think I'm a unicorn hybrid of some sort, but I'm I'm just kind of like a fraggle like puppet thing. Follow up, Mr. Chairman. Last question. There's other other speakers, in, in addition to Mr. Scribbles, that would like to be heard. All right. Go right ahead. All right, well, well just Mr. Scribbles, where exactly are you from? Good come to you, What planet? Start there. I'm not home. I want to go home. It's okay. It's well, kind of a, for being here, Mr. a touchy Scribbles. subject. Right. Okay. Thank he you for being with us. All thank right, you. Uh, Lisa Gano Thank you. Bright. I was curious. I'm going to have time for two more speakers. Thank you, gentlemen. And, and anybody and else women. come back. I'm curious if, uh, Mr. Chairman, if all this same group testified in the House, did you have as much testimony over there? Um, it, was a, um, it was a full testimony time. Okay. Well, not quite. You can see on my videos, only six speakers altogether testified. Um, this is the second meeting, and this is our first meeting, so there was quite a difference. This is going to be our last speaker. I'm with Second Century Ag out of Bocilla, Georgia. The sponsor of this bill is the rep for the 169th District which includes Osceola, Georgia. Did you draft this bill? Or 
We just wanted to publicly apologize to all the Georgia farmers and processors cultivating hemp for lobbying to raise the processing fee to $50,000 so we could monopolize the industry in 2019. That didn't turn out so good, did it? No. That's why I'm apologizing. I might have had a little input into that as well. To be fair, I might be a little to blame for that high processing fee as well. I don't know. I'm not sure. It will be back Tuesday at 4 o'clock. If anybody has additional information you want to submit to me, feel free to do that beforehand if you can't be here live to testify. I'd be glad to get as much education as possible. Well then, Chairman Kelsert, you might be the one to sponsor my proposed legislation, the Cannabis Education, so that you can get so much education by hiring scribbles, myself, and other experts to truly educate not only you, but the public. And I truly do applaud you and the committee for wanting that education. I've been learning new things about cannabis every single time I talk about it with someone. It's such an incredible plant and there's so much to learn. So don't feel bad about not knowing what you don't know and just embrace all that new knowledge coming your way. And may you have the wisdom to do what's right with that knowledge. It is my hope and wish that through my testimony, I can inspire some of you or all of you or one of you to truly take leadership in treating hemp like the agricultural commodity it is with the great economic potential for Georgia and to support legislation by adding necessary amendments like amending soil to help our Georgia farmers recover from the 2020 hemp demic and also to help them truly thrive. These people put their necks on the line and their bank accounts to bless our atmosphere and our people with the balancing qualities of cannabis. And I just want to remind you again Again, that hemp is federally recognized since 2018 as an agricultural commodity for food and more. And those new to me and new to my channel, please do make sure you go over to the Hemp News playlist and check out our very informative documentary, Hemp Demic. You will not be disappointed with the knowledge you can learn. Also, if you like this video and maybe learned something, please consider making a donation and subscribing to this team of musicians, performers, and creatives who fund the Georgia Hemp Economic Revival Organization and make these videos possible. Aviva and the Flying Penguins. Please donate here.